Also, there's a convenient link back to that other page where you actually can set up your automatic withdrawal settings from here. Payment types, this is where the member would go in and fill in the payment types, again, based upon the configuration document that you fill in. If you allow check and money order and international wire transfer and all these different types of ways to be paid their commissions, then all of them would show up in the drop-down box and they would just go in and fill in the appropriate information to be allowed to use that payment type. So in this case, I had it set to check. And now I've just come into PayPal, and you can see that with PayPal, it's asking me the name and the email address to put in for the PayPal payment to be processed too. So payment types, you can configure as many of them as you'd like. You can support as many on online payment processors as you wish. Um, it's not all going to be real-time processing, but you'd have to have us do some customization for batch processing if you wanted batch processing, or you could just process them from the lists that would be automatically generated within the system. With PayPal, the batch processing CSV is already done, so you can do a mass pay through PayPal if you like. And that's a little bit about payment type summaries. Okay, we're going to go back to the root directory of the members lounge or the members back office once again. Okay, we've looked at finances. Transfer funds. Um, as if you've watched the admin demo, you know that we have a very advanced personal account system, and that personal account system deals with the ability for members to move money around within the system and sign people up without credit cards. Well, the transfer area that we're in right now would allow me to transfer any of the money in my personal account to any other member in the system. This would be handy if I've enrolled somebody with a gift certificate and this person now needs to pay their auto ship. They want to send me the money by PayPal because, of course, PayPal is very anti-MLM, liable to abscond with all of your money if you're more than a one-level affiliate program. So best not to use them in an automated way. But that doesn't mean that your members can't use them privately where one member sends the other guy money and the guy who received the money sends back an inter-member transfer within your system to put that money into his friend's account. Um, so this is just the interface for doing that. You can see all of the transfers that have happened, where they came from, where they went to, all in this area. Gift certificates, again, the reverse of this. It's for someone who isn't in the process yet. Uh, so a member can actually send money to somebody to sign up with. So let's say your sign-up fee is only $100, and this guy sent $150. He'd just come in here and he'd create a new gift certificate for $150. The person he sent it to would get the $150 as a gift certificate with a special code. And when they signed up, they just simply put the code into the box during sign-up, and their personal account would be credited with $150. The sign-up of $100 would come out of it, so they'd actually be signed up and have $50 in their account for the next auto ship. So very, very handy. Gets you away from relying on credit cards. Oh, one thing I didn't mention. Uh, there's a fee you can actually set a service fee for the use of gift certificates and intermember transfers. This can be particularly helpful if you're running a very aggressive commission plan with a very high payout. This is actually a little bit of a way to bring some money back through in the back end so you can keep that very aggressive payout. Uh, redeem, you can also use gift certificates, kind of like intermember transfers, where if someone sent you one, you can just redeem it into your account, not necessarily do it with a sign-up. And actually, with your list of uh, gift certificates, until they're cashed, you actually have the ability to withdraw one. And I haven't created any here. Now, maybe I'll just do that real quick. Let's create a gift certificate really quick. Now, I'm going to make a gift certificate for $25. Uh, test gift certificate. And I'm going to email it to myself. Once I've added this gift certificate, I will now be able to see all of my gift certificates under summary. And I can see that there's a gift certificate. I can see the code. This is handy for the member because if the member sends the email and the email doesn't get there, he can just talk the fellow through it on the phone. Say, look, put in this gift certificate number uh, and take care of it. And you can see if it's redeemed by, we can see that the current status is active because it hasn't been redeemed yet, which means there's a cancel button. I can cancel right up until the certificate's redeemed. So the member has the ability to change his mind or if his money didn't show up or whatever, until the gift certificate is used, the member can actually cancel it. Okay, so we're going to go back to the member's root directory. We've looked at gift certificates. We've looked at inter-member transfers. Genealogy. Uh, always important for your members to know who's in their group. This is a daily updated list 
text-based format genealogy. Not everyone wants to use it, but it's available to you if you want. Again, depending how you fill out your configuration document, this will be available. It's all sortable by column headings, so you can actually sift and sort through the data. Again, the members have a lot of control of information in their business. They can also see how much volume was placed by the person. They can see how much volume there is on auto ship with each person in their downline. Um, <clears throat> you have the ability to turn on phone number visibility if you want. Uh, there is no need to turn on email addresses because you can actually hot link to email to anybody in the system right from the genealogy report. So if we click on a placement username, it'll actually pop up the ability for me to send an email to whoever that is. So there's lots of inter member communication capabilities within the system without you ever needing to display emails, which makes things very dangerous from the point of view of networking. So I would just go in here and I'd put in whatever I'm going to send to them, and I'd push go, and that would be that. I would have sent an email to that particular member. Okay, so that is the genealogy updated daily. That is not a real-time report. Now we'll take a look at the sponsor viewer. This is just going to show me everybody that I've enrolled, regardless of the commission plan. It's going to show all the people I personally enrolled on my first level. It's going to show all the people under that on the second level, and so on and so forth. So this doesn't care about placement at all. This is effectively taking whatever commission plan you have and showing it in a unilevel viewer, essentially. Okay, uh, if you had a unilevel or a matrix, then you'd see a viewer much like this one. This is just a different view. Now, this is actually caring about placement and who's under who and who's under who. So this one's a little bit more useful for most members in managing their downline. And all you do is click to drill down through the downline. We have five wide uh, matrix, then you'd see five frontline positions, but you can just keep drilling down until you get to the bottom. Over here, because this is a demo system, there's a bunch of extra titles and stuff that wouldn't exist, but normally your titles would show up with an icon, and whatever title that person achieved would show up nice and neat right over here. Okay, that's your viewer unilevel. If you were a binary or a two-wide matrix, you'd also have available to you this particular viewer. And this is more of a graphical style viewer, and again, you can just drill down with the arrow buttons, or you can jump to any username in the system. Um, so if you know the person you want to see from that person down, you just put their username in up here and you click jump to username. Of course, you can't go up above yourself. Uh, that's a little bit different. In admin, you could actually click, click the up button from anywhere and go up. But in, this, in members, of course, we can't let you go above your own self or you'd effectively have access to the entire corporate tree, which would be bad. That's uh, the viewer binary. OMSIS, this, if you have hooked up the email marketing tool, a member would access the email marketing tool from this link. So here I've just jumped in. We're seeing mission control for the email marketing tool that we call OMSIS. Um, everything you need, there's some tutorials. This is showing the URL that you'd go to to see it. Won't spend any time here as we have full demos on this whole area elsewhere on our website. So I'm going to go back to the members lounge and finish the members lounge tour. Email downline. You can choose to have an email downline function available or unavailable, and it's really simple. Members come in, they put in their email, and they can decide distributors only, customers only, or both. So if you have distributors and customers in your, in your program, they can actually decide to email only the customers or the distributors or both. This keeps your customers customers without getting frustrated from getting the MLM stuff. Okay, FAQ is just where they can actually see all of the questions and answers that have come up through your system. So as you're using the admin FAQ engine and you're building that FAQ out, this is just how the members see the members only. Because, of course, when you're adding FAQs from admin, you can choose whether they're viewable by everyone, viewable only to members, or viewable to um, only admin. So this would be where you could set to see the non-members and the members versions of the FAQs. Support. This, of course, is where the member puts in a request for support. So if they don't find what they're looking for in the FAQ, they would come in here to submit a ticket to you to ask a question. Thank you very much for your time. That winds up our Members Lounge Tour.